Alright, so everyone, here we go. I'm just making my tutorial for how to make a Minecraft vending machine using nothing but uh, determination and powered rails. So, um, start right off the bat, you'll notice that this kind of looks like the original vending machine model from uh, Captain Sparkles, I believe his name is, on YouTube. And pretty much the reason behind that is that it is. Only his design used a little thing called piston, the piston mod. And um, my design right here does not use the piston mod at all. So uh, to give you an idea on how it works, we go over to the cookie thing and press that button over there. Uh, any second now, we should see a card appear with cookies in it. So there you go. Uh, I, don't, I don't really need to eat the cookies. I think you have the idea. We make sure the, flip, the switch is flipped. We press the button to return the card. Um, and so, and another idea, let's say I wanted, um, hmm, something quick, I'll, I'll, I'll get an apple, so I uh, flip the switch again, uh, it should be first, so there's an apple, and there you go, apple, so, um, for those of you who haven't seen Captain Sparkle's video, um, this, it's pretty, it, it may look really complicated, but in all honesty, it's not that complicated. So if we just dig right in, well, hold on, let me, excuse me, let me just uh, flip this switch right here. Uh, let's just dig right in and take a look at how this works. Uh, it, 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 I like I said, it may look a bit complicated, um, but it, it's not really. Once you have an idea, it, it's really quite simple. So um, here we go. So what happens when you press the button? Uh, the redstone power source, like you could call it whatever you want, um, activates turning on the, the this first powered rail, um, sending the minecart on its jolly old way. So there's a bunch of powered rails everywhere because they patch the uh, booster. So and and I just power them with a redstone torch. Um, and so everything's pretty symmetrical except for really this part. Uh, that has one powered rail. Well, everything else is three. This is meant to maintain its speed. And if it were to go too fast over the edge, it would hit the wall and then slide down and not get the power of here and not go to the little area where you grab it here. And what we want it to get here, like I showed in the video. So um, one problem that you'll notice is that this the, uh, the rail here, how does it get back onto its way? So pretty much what you do is if you put a redstone torch underneath the rail at one block underneath, it can act as a switch. So, um, like, obviously the switches have something to do with it. So if I were to flip, on oh, no, that's a bad example, I'll put this one because it's closest. If I were to flip that switch, um, and I would dig to the underground, um, you'd see this here is now on and goes over here and very important right here it turns this off see that it's it's off now and if we were to turn it back on it would turn if we are on the flip the switch the other way it would turn off it would turn back on excuse me so pretty much what this does with that off it goes back to its original I'm not even entirely sure but it, it in in the general idea it goes back and curves so the minecart can get back to its original starting position. Also why these powered rails are really important at the end here. Uh, it's not really used to give it some extra boost. It's that the main use is to get it back up. Uh, this That's for every single one and if I were to dive right back down into the little underground area um, you'd see these bridges to connect the redstone and these are important too because they keep the flow going uh, without them then you eventually stop and um, so if you take a look here the bridge is why they're so wide is because if it was any closer the current will actually connect to this and we, we obviously don't want that we want it so it's a separate connection because if you look in Captain Sparkles it's quite a complicated design actually because it needs to uh, affect all of these but mine only really has to affect the one. And um, the last one, the one closest to the left, closest to the drop-off, is the one that actually does nothing just for aesthetics. 
So, if we were to go back up, over here, um, you can see if when you press the button, it a, a, like a button normally does, it applies pressure for a short amount of time, just enough to set that uh, the powered rail off. So, I'll give you a short little demo of how it works if you see the innards at work. So, let's say I would want this golden apple. Uh, make sure no other switches are flipped. And flip the switch with the Oh, Minecraft music is playing. Uh, then press the golden apple button. See, it, it hits that. And if you look up, uh, the minecart is here. It comes. Just pretty much makes it over. It gets caught again. And comes to the dispensing area. There's our golden apples. Oh, God, I hate this music. All right, so um, now... If I press this button, off it goes. It turns on that power rail, and if we're lucky, there it goes. Could it turn? And back to where it came. There it is. Golden apple. So just so, just in case people want to check, golden apple. There you go. So hopefully now you can make your own type. Oh my God! What's wrong with this music? It's getting dark too. Uh, hopefully you can you'll make your own track. It's really hard to make it without using hacks. Like I, for example, use too many items because I'm uh, just that lazy and did not want to have to spend the time to mine all these minerals. But um, if you can, it's it it doesn't need any mod or anything. So it's not like um, you you can, um, need the too many items or you have to download another mod. It can be made with all the Minecraft uh, all the Minecraft items already used so pretty much powered rail is the main key component here but yeah hopefully you can integrate this into your map I like I really like how it turned out it looks just like part of my map um, and yeah so hopefully you'll make your own uh, creations and launch post as a video response I'd love to see how you how you incorporate this into your uh, map and hopefully you'll like and comment and maybe even subscribe to my channel so, thank you all for watching, and um, how about I'll just leave you with me getting some cake. Oh boy. Come on, cake. I'm waiting for you. Oh boy, cake!